Whoa, where did that voice come from? It's Strider Wazalewski just joined us in the booth to, to call this matchup. <laughs> New heat in the water, Felipe Toledo versus Vasco Ribeiro in the non-priority. Rodriguez and David Silva. Here's Vasco Ribeiro, live action. Nice vertical snap on the backhand for Ribeiro. A little bit more opportunity on the inside double up and finishes off nicely. Um, number two in the world right now, coming up against Vasco Ribeiro, this kid right here. He is an absolute danger man. So Dangerous Felipe Toledo has got to be card. right on his game. Overlapping heats out in the water. This is the round of 32 Kuiper girl along with 89 world champ Martin Potter and Strider Wazalewski. And in the barrel and out of the barrel, Felipe Toledo. Lip glide right there. Doesn't look like the back's hurting Toledo at all. Firing on his first wave that was uh that was impressive and solid and strong and well you know we weren't sure how this was going to play out after we saw him you know going through agony at the wave ranch at the freshwater pro then there was you know the the, the pain in france he said he's not going to surf out of his skin unless he has to so he's not going to push the wow factor so to speak but that is a high impact move right there pots and it looks solid here we go Ribeiro, nothing doing there, but looking back, as Strider was talking about the surf ranch, and that's where Felipe Toledo was kind of showing a little bit of agony with that flared up back, and he carried that on into France. He had to exit his heat in France early, 10 minutes early, still won the heat. Uh, and the mention of how much you paddle here is just crazy. It's amazing how much water moves and what you have to do to stay in position to be on these waves. Ribeiro sticking to the lefts. Utilizing a strong backhand technique, it's three nice top turns for Vasco Ribeiro, likely to improve upon his low of a 3.1. Sinko Marias with his incredible performances on the North Shore, first to qualify out of the two. Here's a replay. Yeah, beautiful, solid, just no, no frill surfing. I mean, there's blood style. Um, here goes Toledo. Toledo backing up his 6.93, looking whippy, looking fast, kind of missing that final turn, but I like the tur two turns previous to that in another gear. He's super powerful, uh, but talk about X Factor, this kid right now. I mean, and this is what, pulling back for, for uh, Felipe Toledo Strada, not surfing at 100%. That was, uh, you know, the sign of, of things to come, and here we are now just with uh, overlapping heats here. Love it. Big float for Vasco Ribeiro, and that's all he's going to get. Ribeiro, former world junior champ, so he knows how it's like to be the top of his class. He's going to get second in Portugal. Toledo will need to get a ninth or better. Ferreira, fifth or better, and that brings Smith and Andino into the equation as well. Ribeiro in the barrel. Stretchy one, but no little doggy door for Vasco Ribeiro to find an exit and go complete on that. Nice fight back, however. Vasco will continue to look for a 6.27 to take the lead from Felipe Toledo. You know what? I mean, the Felipe Toledo, um, Ilo Ferreira, Jordi Smith, Kolohe, they, they basically are in this to win it. I mean, they've got to make sure they get a fantastic result. Otherwise, they leave Medina free to, to win. Wow. Toledo looking loose, regardless of the situation on his back. Again, whippy on the backhand, looking to improve upon that 4.33. That is his backup score in this heat. And not only that, though, the, the guys that are trying to requalify and keep their job for next year, there's the storyline there as well. Toledo finds a barrel, finds the exit. Ali oop stomps that thing. I don't know if that went completely... Uh, complete because he didn't really ride out of it and that could have been a lot of jarring on the back strider but Felipe Toledo is coming out firing. Olympian being able to walk into you know the Olympics for the first time as a surfer. Yeah totally I mean uh, surfers are definitely unique in the fact that uh, you know it's more of a, almost a lifestyle and an art but um, it should be really exciting. Mentoring looking after coaching slash big brother. I saw Jadson Andre running with Rodriguez's backup board Welcome back to the male Rip Curl Pro Portugal, taking a look at Felipe Toledo, eyeing up something down the line, looking for a ramp, goes for the backside rotation, stomps the landing clean. Felipe Toledo showing no sign of an injured back, showing no injury, coming with firepower pop. Here we go, Potts. Cleared for takeoff. What do you think? Yeah, well, he widens that stance. He gets nice and low. You know exactly what's going to happen. What follows is the perfect rotation. Landing super clean. And then, uh, well, this little maneuver here at the end, that really didn't matter. The damage was already done. I mean, you just don't get that smooth of a transition landing off of a backside rotator like that. And, well, Toledo does. That's going to apply pressure to this man, 
Vasco Ribeiro, Ooh. but nice finish for Ribeiro on that closeout section, fighting back against Felipe Toledo. The math's still out, though. Judges are going to score scores for Vasco Ribeiro and for Felipe Toledo. Previous to that wave, Vasco needed a 7.13. I have a feeling that that requirement is going to go up. This wave, I mean, have a look at this. Solid turn to kick things off. Big snap, and then watch this maneuver. Bang, just so solid, so powerful. No mistakes, and that's why Toledo can't afford to take uh, anything lightly right here, and that's why he kind of lit it up and said, you know what, I need two good scores because this kid is not going to give up. Take it easy right now, though. <laughs> I don't want to see this kid hurt himself again. Vasco winds up, goes for a punt of his own, has to throw the board away. The eights, I, I was agreeing with all the way through it, and off the end there, though, there was a little bit of a hang. Uh, on the re-entry there so there might have that's maybe why it didn't go excellent because the syrup was hanging onto the edge of that pancake and then it rolled off looking strong Vasco Ribeiro in that challenge needs an excellent score if he wants to make his way into the round of 16 Ribeiro right here surfing for 9.5 oh. big snap but comes unstuck goes down I think this is always fun to watch Michael thank you for that thanks for oh Congratulations, Emrod, Michael Rodriguez, and uh, Vasco Ribeiro trying to mount a comeback against Felipe Toledo. Has to throw away another air. Strong guy. Uh, he's a bit of a wave magnet, so expect to see him on some good ones. Oh, that was an awkward little moment for Felipe Toledo lining up. I saw a little twinge on the back. He's already put on a great performance with a 6.93 and a 7.67 to take a big lead over Vasco Ribeiro. But he's going to continue to search for a 3.97 in his matchup against Yago Dora. Peak situation oh. there, and looks like Vasco Ribeiro goes down. Let that back cool off. Get to the beach, get some work done. Decompress. Yeah. Great heat win right there. That was a tough heat, too. I mean, that could have gone either way. Vasco Ribeiro, dangerous wild card out here. He's proven his worth by making it to the semifinals before, so good stuff there from Toledo.